So have you been thinking about learning cloud computing? Well, over 90% of the companies worldwide are utilizing some form of the cloud. And of those 90%, a great bit of them are using Amazon as their cloud provider. So to get into the cloud, you got to learn those foundations. You got to learn the fundamentals. So just like building a house, you got to build that foundation, then build on top of it. Same thing for the cloud. So whatever cloud provider you choose, you got to learn the foundations. And for AWS, the certification that covers this foundational knowledge is the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. So today, it's all about the AWS Cloud Practitioner. So stay tuned. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Welcome to Debt Free and IT. I'm your host, Mike. This podcast is for anyone who's looking to get into the IT industry, whether it's for a career change or you're just interested. I think you come to the right place. One of the benefits of being an IT professional is a lot of times we get a chance to hear about any upcoming technologies early. Getting this information gives us the time to start the process of learning that technology if we choose, almost like investing. When you get that hot stock tip, when that stock is cheap, you start buying it up. And then soon as the public catch up to it, you're reaping the benefits of it. The same thing could have happened with the cloud. I heard about it years for years ago. In hindsight, I probably should have started trying to learn the cloud then, but I didn't. And now it's being used everywhere. Just like that hot stock tip. You hear that hot stock tip, you don't buy it. Next thing you know, it's talked about everywhere and it's blowing up in your face. So the same thing happened to me with the cloud. So now if you're on the fence about should you learn the cloud or not? Now may be the best time to start learning the fundamentals of the cloud and then decide if you want to go deeper. For AWS, the certification is the cloud practitioner. And today I plan to go over what you would get from this certification, some of the domains covered within this certification, and then we're going to look at some pathways from getting this certification to from the beginner certification to some of the advanced certifications. Then, of course, we're going to talk about the cost of this certification. And then at the very end, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this certification. So the first thing I like to begin with is this certification gives you that foundational knowledge. So the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification is a foundational cloud certification from Amazon. So this is usually the first certification most people get when they start learning the AWS cloud. Don't get me wrong. Now, getting this certification is not mandatory. It's not a prerequisite. You can go directly into another certification, a higher certification, one of the associates, but it's not recommended unless you already have some cloud experience. So if you're currently doing cloud support for a company where you're inside of AWS cloud, you're doing some configurations, you're doing your support end users in the cloud, then you're probably ready to go ahead and go to the associate because you probably know that foundational knowledge of the cloud. But if you're somewhere where you're not even utilizing the cloud, you're totally new, and you're trying to start learning about the cloud, especially with AWS, I would say you would want to start at this foundational certification, this AWS Cloud Practitioner. This certification will validate your knowledge in the following domains. The first domain, it goes over a lot of cloud concepts. The second domain goes over security and compliance. The third domain is cloud technology and different services. And the fourth domain goes over billing, pricing, and support. So from looking at the domains, you could tell that this certification will probably be valuable for anyone that's, if you're in sales and you're selling this cloud product to another company, knowing this first certification gives you an understanding of the cloud. You go through the pricing, you go through how everything works, you learn the terminology. So I can see this, this could fit for roles that's not just for support. It could go into different roles and different aspects into that cloud process. It could go, it would be well suited for a project management position. If you're working at a company that utilizes the cloud, knowing that terminology of the cloud, just like I said before, sales. So all of that will help you out just by getting this cloud foundation certification. Then when we look at the exam, so the exam is roughly about 90 minutes and it consists of 65 questions, multiple choice or multiple response which is, this is how most exams are given today. I think the only one that's not like that is probably the uh, one of the Red Hat certifications. You know, to my understanding, they are a little bit more harder. Uh, they are a little bit more harder to pass. But for the most part, 
most of them is going to be multiple choice. Some of them may have simulations and everything like that that may pop up during the exam. Then the cost of this exam is not going to hurt your pocket. So this exam costs roughly around $100. So for $100, I think this is a pretty good investment for $100. You know, you get this foundational knowledge. Then you're able to decide, oh, should I go a little bit deeper or am I cool with this? You know, the determining factor is going to be, okay, what companies are you at now? Are y'all utilizing AWS or y'all utilizing something else? Or maybe I'm trying to get in the door so I may get this certification to learn the foundation. Then I start seeing what type of AWS certifications a lot of companies are asking for. And then I start to pursue those certifications. Sorry to interrupt this video. According to my YouTube analytics, 84% of my viewers are not subscribed. If I provided any value to you in any of my episodes and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so because this does help out the channel. And also, if you're listening to this in your favorite podcast and app, please share this episode with a friend. Now back to the episode. So next, we're going to look at some of the pathways you can take to get the advanced certification. So this cloud practitioner certification, like I said, is meant to be really a stepping stone certification, especially if you're on the technical side. You know, it's, it's one of those certifications where you get the, the foundational knowledge of it. You know the terminology and everything. Then you want to use this to get one of the associate level certifications or one of the specialty certifications. So once you get this certification, you got that foundational knowledge pretty much down about the cloud, AWS cloud. And then from this certification, you can then progress to another cert. They have one called the developer associate. You got the solutions architect. Then also they got some advanced networking certifications and a, and a security specialty certification too. So this is where, to me, the full value of these certifications may come into play because most of the higher certifications, they're going to be highly sought after by a lot of employers. So just like you hear me say, they got a networking certification. So like I always say, networking is everywhere, even in the cloud, you got networking. So with this certification, if anyone is running this AWS cloud, I'm pretty sure they're going to need someone that knows the networking end of this AWS cloud. And then also, you hear me say they got a, a, a security specialty. So they're also going to need somebody that knows the security side because everything you need to be able to secure it. So long as there's people trying to break in, we need to have someone on our side trying to keep people out. So what are my thoughts on this AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification? So the first thing is, if you're looking to get into the cloud, I think this certification is going to be worth getting because you need to have that foundational knowledge, especially if you have no experience with the cloud. But once you obtain this certification, it's not time for you to take a chill pill. You don't want to get relaxed. I would say once you get it, continue your studies to advance to one of the associate certifications or one of the specialty certifications. And like I said earlier, I think once you start getting the associate level certifications or maybe the specialty, I think that's when you'll probably unlock the true value or the biggest return on your investment. But like I said, it is possible to probably land an entry level cloud support role with just this cloud practitioner. But in my opinion, I would still go towards one of those higher certifications and then try to specialize. So in IT, you, you always want to try to specialize in something. You know, you want to be well around it, but you also want to be able to, uh, known, known for specializing in something. Like me, I'm mainly networking. So you want to have that specialty. So then when we get to preparing for the certification, this is where it gets interesting to me. So of course, you have the study guides. And I'll put the link into the description in case you want to help out the channel. But the, the study guides will help you to prepare for this certification. But what most interests me that I think is genius on Amazon's part is that I did a video on it earlier. It's the AWS Cloud Quest. So it's a video that goes over. It almost looks like the Sims video game, except for you're playing the role of whoever or whatever cert you're going after. Right now, the cloud practitioner, I think that's a free role. So you can play it free as a cloud practitioner where you're going around this virtual city and you're fixing issues that a cloud practitioner would have to fix in the real world. So in a way, they gamify the learning process. Anytime you can gamify something, it makes it easier to learn because you, it don't really feel like you're studying because you're playing this video game in your mind, but you're actually learning to be a cloud practitioner. So that's where it gets interesting to me. And then as you start to get to advanced levels, those I think you have to pay for to get advanced roles to where you can be certain roles inside of this environment. But I think that's a game changer on AWS's part because this AWS Cloud Quest, 
it has me very interested. So one of my plans is once I can get some other stuff off my plate is I want to tackle this cloud practitioner too. And one of the ways I plan on tackling it is through this AWS cloud quest. So this may be something that I record and just show the gameplay. That way you can watch along and end up studying for it too. But like I said, this makes it very interesting. Then I think once you start preparing for the certification, I think they have another game that simulates a escape room. So they're making it real interesting to learn and they're gamifying the learning process. So that's very interesting to me. I think that anytime a company does that, it makes it easier for someone to get in and learn it because you're intrigued by playing the video game, especially if you come from my day where, you know, back in my day, we had Mike Tyson punch out, things like that. You know, I still remember the cheat code up, down, right, left, A, B, go straight to Mike Tyson. But you know, they ain't got no cheat codes for it, but this does make it interesting. So that brings me to the end of this episode. Hopefully you found some value in this episode. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, you can follow me at Debt Free and IT. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me at Debt Free and IT at gmail.com or you can visit my website, Debt Free and IT with Mike.com. Other than that, I'll see y'all next week. Peace.